no, no, no. It cannot do half inch, but hey, it's not gonna stop us from trying. Going over a whole bunch of thicknesses and shapes with the Titanium 125. I'm doing a butt weld on 16 gauge material. Now I'm doing this type of weld because it is probably the most common for those doing auto body type work. You don't have too many T-joints with sheet metal. I'm gonna be using the suggested settings underneath the hood and for this, it's right about three to four and about C to C.5. If you are using 18 gauge, which is a little thinner, you'll want to turn it down just a bit more and make sure you are continually moving. Don't stop or you will burn through. Now I was able to do a continuous bead, no issues, but take note, I've got a, a big plate that I'm welding on here, pretty much acting as a heat sink. So if you are up on the car, you know, with the panels, nothing behind it, you may need to adjust the settings and your speed. Per the chart, you can do from 18 gauge up to 3 16 Moving on to some 1 8 inch plate. Now, honestly, I don't have that many projects that, uh, you know, require a four inch coupon to weld on but these are great fillet weld practice pieces. Now the settings I'm running here are on the six wire speed and an E to F for the voltage. These fillet welds turned out great. The titanium 125 is perfect for eighth inch material. If you wanna know more details about the welder itself, check out my other videos. I've got setup videos, unboxing, and you know, even some tips and tricks videos to help you out. I've done a ton of projects with square tubing, everything from go-karts, railings, tables. If doing frames or projects that need an end that is just perfectly square, you'll want to start practicing tack welding your pieces together. Those are the small welds that hold the piece in place until the full weld is done. It is a step up from just a straight fillet weld or butt weld, and that's because you do need to round the corners and tie into the other side. I did use the same settings as the plate and went about the same speed. Whenever I'm out buying my square tubing, I do like to buy extra because it's a great practice piece to have on hand. I get asked a ton, can the titanium do square tubing? Okay, here's the deal. If the thickness, it doesn't matter the overall dimensions, but if the thickness is less than 3 16 then yes, you can. You can treat this just as a plate or a square tubing as you will. Here's a situation where you are kind of maxing it out, but it does work great. I've got some rectangular tubing, 3 16 inch wall, and then, you know, this isn't a technically uh, engine mount bracket, but it's very similar because the thickness is 3 16 as well. Uh, some practice pieces I would do beforehand or obviously some fillet welds. Earlier, I did talk about tack welds. Here's a great spot for it. Do your tack welds on the ends. Don't do it on the sides. That's because it will go out of angle on you. Now you can do a tack weld and then actually just bend it back into place. But I've noticed, do the ends and then go do your full welds and it will be nice and straight. Crank it up and go slow for a full penetration. Moving up to quarter inch. Now, I do think that as long as you prep the material in that you give it a slight uh, bevel, you gap the pieces and go slow as you can, you probably won't have an issue. You know, now granted, I wouldn't use it for anything structural or, you know, your welding test coupon and you'll be fine. Now here's the deal with the half inch. You know, sure, I'll throw down some welds just to show that it sticks, but honestly, it's not gonna be a good weld. I'm not even using the right wire for it. So really, this is just to test it out for fun. Now here's another example with something over 3 16 You know, I got some 5 8 inch bar going to a half inch plate. Um, it's not structural. I just need a little handle. It's gonna be just fine. So uh, what I like doing still though is beveling the edges, making sure that you get a good weld and as much as a weld in there as possible to help you out. 
I did this on, you know, my coffee table and then I think even some railing for my outdoor stuff. And it will do just fine for those situations. That's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.